Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what we're eating for the week ahead and get some meal ideas and also see what's out in the shop at the moment, then keep watching. So as I always say at the start of these videos, I am required to tell you as per the CMA guidelines that I have worked with Tesco in the past, however, this shop has all been paid for with our own money. Now I'm going to get into the grocery haul first, so if you've never seen these videos before, I'm going to walk you through everything that we bought for the week ahead. We do our shop as Tesco's as I've mentioned and then at the end of this video I will run through our meal plan. If you also look in the description box below, you will find our meal plan for the week ahead listed as well with any links that are available for you to click on and check out and look at the recipes yourself. As as well but without any further ado on to the grocery haul part of this video so these are all of the store cupboard items for this week and we have some korma paste some roasted red peppers this Alenia brand is really really good because they come out the cheapest every time at tesco i have some harissa seasoning basmati rice i have this little soup, it's by Cross and Blackwell and it's cauliflower and Wensleydale. It just sounded really nice, so we might have that for lunch actually. I have some hot dogs. I just got a pack of five this time because these Wilkinger ones are really big, but then we ended up with like too many hot dogs and they're tempting, aren't they? So I just got five because that will do the kids nicely. Got two avocados. I'm not entirely sure where I put them over here, but yeah, we've got two avocados. We always get avocados. Mark loves them. I love them. Italian chopped tomatoes with a hint of garlic. Got got those coconut milk we have some apricots for a tagine that i'm going to do but also these would be good for like leftover snacks as well pepperamis i bought some of the bigger ones recently and bill went crazy for these they are now 30 percent less fat which is good high in protein and he just loved them so i've got the mini ones to stick in his lunch box because i thought they would be quite nice got some pretty for Lou, the normal from our trays that i get which are super cheap they've just like disappeared from online and can't find them anywhere so i got these because these were on offer for two pound i think they're normally three quid something like that but two pound for 18 seemed quite reasonable i got some monster munch i don't actually rate monster munch that much but bill loves these so these will be good for the snacks for the kids but also for pat lunches again and then we have some brioche because it's always celebrated in this house and then these were on offer i think they were a pound you know where they have like the deals on and stuff they're crave roulette and it's white chocolate chocolate hazelnut and milk chocolate so i got those for the kids um because you know chocolate and cereal always goes down well doesn't it then over here is like bread and stuff and then freezer bits as well uh, we have quite a lot of bread this week but what we tend to do is that when we buy these we freeze a lot of the leftovers so they do stretch us out a lot longer throughout like the next couple of weeks so we've got some hot dog rolls we've got sesame bagels those are mine and mark's favorite any bagel with sesame on and we are there we have some of the warburton's toasty we go through this so quickly now stands older honestly this only lasts us a couple of days we have some mini plain tortilla wraps these are great for lunches great for making quesadillas that kind of thing some mexican inspired folded flatbreads these are new to me i think they were new online actually so i'm excited to try them we have two ciabatta rolls and i'm going to put those in the freezer for now so they stay fresh and then we have six of the garlic and coriander mini nans that is all the bread and then frozen bits i was quite happy about one of these because they're new these were on offer this sweet corn um mini corn on the cob so I'll keep those in the freezer because they will be handy to have with like say hot dogs for example and then i got this diced chorizo it was no more expensive than the ring that you can buy but it's already pre-chopped for you and i just thought like if there's any left over you can just leave it in the freezer can't you and add it to a pasta to jazz it up or on top of a pizza or something Thing. so i was impressed with that and then i got the classic vegetable base mix which i always like to add to spag bowls and things like that so that's actually on the menu for this week so that's why i picked this up and now we're going to show you all the fresh stuff so this is everything else and as i mentioned we did get a lot of fruit and veg this week and i'm determined to make sure that we all eat really well moving forward so we've got some peppers we have some tomatoes on the vine these are on offer baby plum tomatoes fruit wise we've got grapes we've got two punnets of strawberries we've got a punnet of blueberries we have 
apples and then we also have bananas and then everything else that we've got we've got baking potatoes for lunches we've got some butternut squash and sweet potato for the tagine these run like a three for two some of these things so i decided to go for it and then i have some beetroot here the sweet and fiery one to like jazz up salads i have some coriander flat leaf parsley and mint these freeze really well if you want to like make the most of them so always remember that if you've got any leftover try and freeze it you can put it into little bits of oil in your ice cube tray for example then we have some fennel for a tray bake i'm doing four courgettes for a recipe one evening but also like i like to add like extra veg into things anyway so i always bulk up on the veg we have two red onions three white onions we've got two carrots we have a bag of rocket and baby leaf salad and an alfresco salad i'm not really sure what makes it alfresco to be honest with you but it looked nice so i picked that cheese this was on offer i have a nook scent fat greek style yogurt for a couple of recipes then we also have grana padano and light like feta so those are for different recipes and salads and stuff honey rose ham chunks barbecue chicken breast pieces these are great for like doing wraps putting on salads like adding into things really quickly like pasta dishes and that kind of thing and they always last us quite well you can freeze them as well and take out what you need as and when you want it i have some of these fresh cut chips because these are great we have like a halo air fryer so it's nice to put them in there because they're a little bit healthier than like traditional chips i've got some baby potatoes the finest ones are on offer so i pick those up we have some ham and then what else have we got cottage cheese for the baked potatoes we have pomegranate we've got hummus great for lunches and snacks we've got these eggs these ones were on offer they're chestnut moran eggs and they look they look very nice don't they so got those as well and then we got some olives and dia arancini and then a chorizo and serrano tortilla and these were all part of like a three for two you know like um the tapati type thing and um this will last quite a while in the fridge as well so i imagine this will do great for lunches or a meal for me and mark with salad and stuff like that then i have some chicken thigh fillets these were two for six pounds so i've stocked up uh, they'll go across quite a few recipes actually and then finally some steak mints for the spag bowl and then also some sausages so i've got two packs of these anything that is left over from the recipe that i'm doing will do for like sausage sandwiches for the kids or they can be frozen and added to pasta at a later date so i've got a lot of extras this week to do like bulk cooking with or you know spread across quite a few meals I'm quite excited about that but yeah I'm gonna put all of this away and then I'll run through the meal plan so on to the meal plan and this is the list for the week ahead we actually have eight meals with a lot of extras that we can do for bulk cooking this week as I mentioned in the grocery haul part of this video so for Tuesday we had slow cooker chicken korma with rice and naan I actually shared how we made this over on my stories over on Instagram so if you're not following me there you might want to but this is also listed in one of my slow cooker videos which I'll also leave link down below um it's a really quick and easy one to do it goes down really well with my family and it tastes really nice as well then last night the kids have swimming lessons on a wednesday so if you're new to my channel they eat at my parents on wednesday because my parents live nearer to the swimming bus where they go and they eat there to stop any you know hangry episodes and then mark and i eat later once the kids are in bed because it just works out better doing it around the kids and we had this gorgeous egg dish that i've actually had at a local italian restaurant near to us and it's basically scrambled eggs with garlic there's butter there's courgette that's been sauteed off there's mint and parmesan and they serve it with ciabatta and salad and it is amazing and we make it quite often um just as it's a really quick and easy one to do and you've got your veggies in there as well it's inexpensive but it's just really tasty um very very simple to do so that is what we had on wednesday night and then today which is actually thursday i'm going to make a spaghetti bowl and in a bit and just serve that with salad always goes down really well with my family there's something about spaghetti and children that just well at least with my kids it sends them wild i have a recipe of how i make my um, spaghetti bolognese as well so i'll leave that link down below and then on 
Friday <laughs> is a tricky one Friday because Bill is actually in the Young Voices concert in Manchester which we're really really excited about so he will actually be eating with school because we have to pack two packed lunches for that day so one for lunch and one for his dinner and then the little two are actually going to be staying here with my grandparents and they're going to have hot dogs and corn on the cob because it's really quick and easy and I know that they will eat it and not cause any problems for my grandparents and then what we're going to do is just try and get there as quickly as we can get to where the concert is and then if we've got a bit of time we'll just grab something really quick and easy because it's going to be quite a tight turnaround with like the kids and getting everything sorted so we will literally grab anything and um, we just really want to watch him and we can't wait so that's going to be amazing oh i'm so excited and then on saturday I'm going to make chicken shawarma kebabs, I think I've said that right. Um, I found like a little sachet of flavouring that I'm going to use and just sort of do it in a um, like a loaf tin and pack the chicken thighs down in layers and then once that's cooked I will turn it out and then slice it and we'll do it with like flatbreads and salad, that kind of thing. Just It's kind of like a fake away, like a kebab treat but it'll be a lot healthier because I'll be making it myself. Then on Sunday I'm going to do a honey and mustard sausage tray bake. So so I've got really good quality sausages that have got a bit of flavouring in them. I think they're red onion, something like that, so it'll be extra tasty. I'm going to put those in a big roasting dish with some new potatoes, some red onion, I've got some fennel, we've got like leftover carrots, I'll do some extra veg on the side, like green veg, like broccoli for example, and I'm going to mix together some honey and whole grain mustard and spread all of that through so it's all like the same sort of flavorings really really quick and easy one to do and then we can just have a really lazy sunday together as a family then on monday we're going to have chorizo orzo now i bought that bag of frozen chorizo which i think is going to be a bit of a lifesaver because it's so handy to just like chuck into like stews or pasta dishes and you only need to like take a little handful because chorizo is very flavorful and it's already ready chopped and it is no more expensive and you get no less for your money than what you would do if you buy rings so I think I'm going to see how it cooks and then I might buy that more often but um the orzo dish was inspired by a salad recipe that I saw on the Tesco food website however I'm going to make this a warm dish because I don't think my kids will like it as much as when it's cold um so that's going to be an experimental one and then on Tuesday which gets us to meal eight um we're going to have a vegetable and chickpea tagine with apricots and couscous it just uses up lots of tins that we've got in the cupboard after I did like an invention entry check of everything that we've got in the cupboards in the freezer last week and um, found it really useful and it's inspired me to like make certain meals or keep like those ingredients in mind for next time I do a grocery haul um, just so I know what I need to get and what we don't need to get and it makes me think on my feet a little bit more in terms of recipes so we're going to use that up and it's the idea is is that any leftover vegetables that are in the fridge on that day will get chucked into this tagine and we're going to use harissa paste and just make it really nice and tasty and I think everybody will really enjoy that one so those are the meals ahead um, we also got loads of little different bits this week so we've got baked potatoes in for lunches we can have like sandwiches we can have wraps we had the frittata that i brought um the well the spanish tortilla with my friends yesterday we've got loads of bits in the freezer so i'm really really trying to bulk cook and any leftovers at the moment i'm going to put away into a little storage container and freeze and it just means that when things get a little bit trickier towards our renovation of the house starting at least we do have some food ready that we can just chuck in the oven while we still got it and um hopefully fingers crossed it makes things a little bit easier but i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you are new i do these quite regularly so if you do enjoy them you can expect quite a few more <laughs> for the rest of the year but have a lovely day whatever you're up to and hopefully i will see you next time